Namaste, friends, and welcome to the shortcut to meditation. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There is no shortcut. Meditation, just like growing a garden, is something that takes time to cultivate, to nourish, and to grow in our mind. But just like a garden, how we can provide the proper environment, good nutrients, sunlight, and water to grow a beautiful, lush garden. In the same way, we can provide the right techniques and practices to still our mind, to open it, and to give us that space where we can drop deeper into a state of meditation. That's going to be our aim today. In today's class, we're going to be focusing on practices, Kriya, purification techniques, to purify the energy, to open the mind, and give us that space where we can very quickly drop into a space of stillness. Beautiful practice. If it sounds good to you, grab your yoga mat and let's get ready to start. So before we get into the class, I will let you know that in today's practice, we're going to be doing the practice of Uriyana Banda, which some people are not familiar with. It's a very powerful technique for raising the energy and really helping us to go into that expanded state of mind. Uh, if you're not familiar with the technique, to save time, I'm not going to take the time to introduce it. But I will leave a link just below this video where you can access a, a deep dive, which I released to our members of our website. I'll share it with you today for free. Uh, you can just sign in with your YouTube account and then you can gain access to both the deep dive explaining all the ins and outs and benefits of this beautiful technique, Uriyana Banda, as well as a standalone practice so that you can master this powerful technique for yourself. It's really one of the most foundational, fundamental techniques for anyone interested going to the higher levels of yoga, Kundalini, awakening the energy within. Uh, so if you're not familiar with that, make sure you watch the video. You can find it in the link below. And if you're already familiar with Uriyana Banda, we're good to go. Find your comfortable seated position, whatever that means for you, somewhere where you can sit nice and tall, pressing the seat down, reaching the crown of the head up. Roll the shoulders back and down so the heart is open, soft and relaxed. Then I invite you to close the eyes, turn inside, and take a deep inhalation through the nose. Then open the mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> soften the body, soften the mind, coming to here and now. Again, deep inhalation. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Oh, and feel the vibrations of the sigh through your body, bringing you more into the body, more into the present. One more time. This time we're going to hold the breath. Deep inhalation. Sniff in as much as you can. Even more. Hold it and relax into the space of no breath. Soften the face, the jaw, the shoulders and chest, the belly, the genitals and anus. Soften and relax. For three, two, one, side out. Oh. Sitting with the eyes closed, tension turned inside. And just take this moment to notice where you are now. How you feel in your body. How you feel energetically. In your emotions. And in your mind. Allowing whatever's there without the need to change it. Just checking in. So we can see where we start and where we end up. Take a deep inhalation into the heart. And as you exhale, gently coming back. Namaste and welcome. We're going to start in stretch pose with breath of fire. So find your way down to lying on the mat. <clears throat> From here, we're going to come up lifting the shoulders and heels off the floor, spreading the fingers wide, reaching palms are facing each other towards the toes. Eyes stay open, gazing at the toes, and we'll perform breath of fire, fast breathing in and out through the nose for one minute. So let's begin together. When you're ready, inhale into the pose. Relaxing exhalation, gaze towards the toes and begin breath of fire. <laughs> Remember, with the breath of fire, find your pace, find the rhythm that works for you. You can go faster, you can go slower. If the pose is challenging, you can lift the legs higher to make it more easy. Always modify the practice to make it work for you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
halfway through, 30 seconds remain. Deep inhalation, hold the position. Hold the breath, squeeze the genitals and anus. Turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead, Shambhavi Mudra. Visualize energy rising up the spine to the middle of the forehead. And release and relax. Lowering down, laying with the eyes closed. Attention turned inside. Feeling the vibrations through your body. Waking up the energy channels purifying the nervous system, creating the heat of transformation. Mm, beautiful, gently coming back. We're gonna hug the knees into the chest, lift the nose up towards the knees. We're gonna hold this pose known as Pavanamukdasana. Uh, turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead, Shambhavi Mudra, and we'll do the breath of fire here for two minutes. Let's begin. Keep breathing, keep the eyes turned up towards the middle of the forehead, directing energy up to Ajna Chakra, the mental command center. And as you pump the breath, really feel the pumping of the navel, giving yourself an internal massage for all the organs. This is really good for detoxifying the digestive system, burning away stagnation, leaving us feeling open and empowered. Keep pumping the breath, we're halfway through. Remember, this is the shortcut to meditation. What we invest now will leave us pure and clean so we can drop into a deep state at the end. <laughs> Almost there, last 20 seconds, you got this. Hold the position, deep inhalation. Hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, contracting genitals and anus. Turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead and visualize energy rising up the spine, over the top of the head, gathering at the middle of the forehead, Ajna Chakra. Send it up. Send it up. And release and relax. Return to lying on your back. Eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling the flushing of energy throughout the body. Awakening of the digestive fire at the navel, Manipura Chakra. Burning away heavy, stuck, stagnant energy. Leaving you feeling revitalized. Mm, beautiful, gently coming back. Next, we're gonna offer a nice massage to our nervous system with spinal rocking. So hug the knees into the chest, nose towards the knees again, and we're gonna rock from the hips to the shoulders, forward and back along the spine. Make sure your spine is rounded here, and each vertebrae is making contact with the floor. 
We want this motion to be nice and controlled, not clumping or jumping. <laughs> Those were terrible words. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. Nice smooth action, really massaging the spine, the central channel, Shashumna Nadi, as well as Ida and Pingala, the heating and cooling aspects of the nervous system. Bringing balance and encouraging the energy to flow from down to up. It also really helps in this practice if you bring a cute little smile to your face. Cute little smile. That's a good one. <laughs> and that will do. Make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Eyes closed. Tension inside. Take a moment to witness the energy flowing up and down the spine. Already notice the clearing of the thoughts. We're not even halfway through yet and already the mind is becoming more stable, more centered. Beautiful. Next we're going to perform the Ego Eradicator, where we will fold the fingers in to meet the pads, reach the arms up 60 degrees, reaching through the thumbs, eyes are turned up, and we will perform Breath of Fire for two minutes. Let's begin. Inhale the arms up, relaxing exhalation, eyes to the middle of the forehead, and begin the Breath of Fire. And deep inhalation, lift the thumbs up to touching. Hold the breath, spread the fingers wide, squeeze Mula Bandha, contracting the genitals and anus. Pull the lower belly in, turn the eyes up, send the energy up, 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 all the way through the top of the head. Send it up, send it up. And as you exhale, sweep the space around you, spreading light from above. Pushing down any darkness, anything that doesn't serve you, down into the earth. Feel grounded. Sitting with the eyes closed. Tension turned inside. Feeling this glowing energy all around you. Light. Vibrations. Feeling open. Awakened. And expansive. Mm. Gently coming back. Now we're going to perform five minutes of Uriyana Bandha, 
in an interval style, 20 seconds of Uriana Banda followed by a single breath to ventilate. If you can't hold for the full 20 seconds, it's okay. You inhale when you feel the urge to and you wait to begin the next round with us, okay? So find your position, whether you're going to do it sitting or standing. We will start with five uh, Bastraka breaths to kind of purge the lungs, fully in through the nose, fully out through the nose. Then on the final one, we go, will go fully out to the mouth and begin our first round of Uriana Banda. So let's begin in through the nose, out through the nose. In, out. Three more. Fully out to the mouth. Uriana Banda. Pull the diaphragm in and up. Turn the eyes up. Visualize sending the energy up. Raising it up. Remember, if you need to breathe beforehand, you can release and inhale when you feel the urge to. Then inhale, one ventilation, fully in. Prepare for the next round, let's begin. Keep relaxing into the pose, relaxing into the retention. Visualize the energy rising. One ventilation breath. Fully in. Begin the next round. Almost there, three more rounds to go. Oh. <sighs> 
Last round. And return to normal breathing, sitting with the eyes closed, attention inside, feeling a deep massage in the abdomen, stimulation of the digestive fire, Manipura Chakra, burning away heavy, low energies. Also note the sublimation of energy upwards towards the upper chakras. Leaving you feeling light and expansive. Beautiful. We will go directly into five minutes of Anolombilon, the alternate nostril breathing. Uh, with an equal count of samavriti. So we can do a count of in for six, hold for six, out for six, hold out for six. Uh, or we can do it for eight or ten. I recommend we start trying with eight. So in for eight, hold for eight, out for eight, hold out for eight. Uh, and if eight is too much, drop down to six. If eight is comfortable, go up to ten. Find your ratio. We will be using a metronome. Uh, 60 beats per minute, so one second per count. And we will be alternating the breath back and forth. If you want to use the bandhas, it's completely up to you. We will do this for five minutes. Let's begin with one ventilation breath, in through the nose, out to the mouth. Block the right nostril with the right thumb. Inhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, exhale, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold, two, three, four, five, six, that's one round, if it was difficult, go down to six, if it was easy, go up to ten.
And finish the next time you exhale through the left nostril. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention turned inside. Feeling the balancing between left and right sides, harmonizing of energy between the mind and the body. The arousal of Ajna Chakra, an increased capacity for mental insight, a state of balance. We will now go directly into meditation. I will guide Anapana meditation, observing the flow of breath in and out through the nose. If you have another type of meditation you prefer, you can go with that. Let's begin. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention inside. Bring all of your awareness to the flow of breath in and out through the nose. Feel the breath coming into the nose. Feel the breath flowing out through the nose. Be aware of the natural flow of breath in and out at the tip of the nose. If you find when you watch the breath, you have a tendency to hold it or control it, just control it in what feels like the most natural rhythm for you right now. And eventually you will find yourself just witnessing the breath. Feel the breath flowing in. Feel the breath flowing out. If you find your mind is noisy today, it can help to mentally note what you're doing. As you inhale, you can mentally repeat, breathing in, and as you exhale, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. And whenever the mind gets active and starts to pull you away, just notice it. Note to yourself, I am thinking, I'm coming back to the breath and return to witnessing the flow of breath at the tip of the nose, breathing in, breathing out.
I am thinking. I'm coming back to the breath. Breathing in, breathing out.
Sitting with the eyes closed, attention turned inside. Take a moment to notice where you are now. How you feel in the physical body, your energy, your emotions, and your mind. Notice what's changed from when we started until now. Then I invite you to bring your hands together in front of the heart. Drop your awareness down into the heart center. And we close this practice with a moment of gratitude. Saying thank you. Thank you for this time and space to come together and practice. Thank you for this moment to turn inside, to focus on the self, health, wellness, peace of mind. Remind yourself when you do these practices to work on yourself, your patience, your presence. You do a service for yourself, yes but you also do a service for everyone you meet along the way. That's why I always say, working on the self is the most selfless work that we can do. So you deserve to say thank you to yourself today. Thank you, self. Take a deep inhalation into the heart. And as you exhale, gently coming back, so I can say thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Would love to hear from you how it was. Uh, it's my first time back to filming in almost three weeks. <laughs> we just got back from uh, teaching a week-long retreat on the island. And it was a beautiful time, but it's been a while since I've done this thing. Uh, so let me know how it was, because I'm a little bit nervous. And uh, if any of you would like to join us for one of these transformational yoga retreats, our next one is coming up in September in Italy. We have our Inner Alchemy retreat, beautiful uh, yoga retreat focused on working with the chakras, exploring the different energies, emotions, the different states of consciousness through Kundalini Yoga, Pranayama, meditation, all the things that we did right now. Uh, expanded. <laughs> uh, so if you'd be interested to join uh, me and Clelia for uh, one of our week-long retreats, I'll leave a link in the description as well if you want to check that out. And with that said, I thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have the most beautiful day and I can't wait to see you again. Namaste. Oh, 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 oh,